Tates, Mames, Streben, sehr Kinder, euch zu geben, weil das ist die größte Frei bei See. On est sorti du métro à l'avenue Bedford, l'artère principale des hipsters de Williamsburg. Moi, j'avais comme projet d'interviewer des idéchauffones que j'allais identifier tout bêtement, selon leur style vestimentaire. En pleine rue, bourdonnant d'activités quotidiennes, j'ai remarqué un jeune homme descendant de la rue et je l'ai abordé, presque tremblant d'angoisse, car c'était mon première interview avec un nouveau microphone et je n'avais pas de questions particulières à lui poser. Je voulais juste parler avec lui. Je voulais tout bêtement écouter le Yiddish de Williamsburg. Alors je me suis adressé à lui en Yiddish, mais vite j'ai remplacé le Yiddish par l'anglais. Car comprenez bien, c'était avant l'école d'été de la maison de la culture Yiddish cette année, où j'ai bien évidemment perfectionné ma langue comme c'est pas possible. Mais enfin, allons-y à Williamsburg. Écoutons ce premier échange, très simple, où rien de très spécial ne dit, mais qui pour moi était plein de sens et de son du Yiddish et de la rue. Check, check. Man, man, das Jassi Herzog. Herzog. Ich bin 21 Jahre alt. Ja. Und da war ich in Willensburg. Das ist ein beautiful neighborhood. Es scheint zu sein. Und wann did you arrive in Willensburg? Halb Jahr zurück. Und wenn ich mich fragen darf, was machst du hier? Ja, das kannst du nicht gerne. Ah, was ist das? Ich gehe. And um, uh, so, where did you come from? Borough Park. Borough Park. Borough Park. Ah, okay. It's not the same neighborhood. And what are the differences between the neighborhoods? Um, I close my eyes. More for the power. Well, it's more for the power. Borough Park. Really? In what way? More different. And it does more for the citizens. Do is do is make a sandwich. Yeah, we bought a pack. Do is nearly Satmer. Do it is do more aluminium. Do that. Okay, and you come from what the background? We're not going to make a sandwich. We're going to make a sandwich. We are coming from Vienna original. Oh, Vienna, Vienna. Yeah, my mom is from Vienna, Austria. And when did she come to New York? Oh, has not yet. <laughs> but then, and when? Uh, but I asked you today. Thirty years ago. Oh, okay. So that's very recent, actually, isn't it? Thirty years ago. Could be, yeah. Um, so, and what do you do in life? I do the construction. Nice. Uh, where? Oh yeah. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Um, anything else you want? To... Oh, I wanted to ask. What's your favorite parashat of Shabbat? So yeah. Barachas, Barachas, and Devurim. Anything you want to say to the Paris audience? Paris. Paris. What can we start to visit in Paris? No? All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Williamsburg était plus conservateur, à son avis, que Borough Park. Il y a plus de chassides. On a donc continué dans notre promenade à Williamsburg. On est descendu l'avenue Bedford vers le sud, à passer sous le pont qui sépare le quartier UP du quartier chassidique, où habitent surtout des Satmar, venus d'Hongrie. 
So, but what is it? This is for some program or what? Yeah, it's for program in uh, Jewish Radio in Paris, RCJ. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, good morning. Um, yeah. Uh, if you could uh, state maybe your name and uh, where you live and. Uh, okay. I live in Wellensburg. I live in Wellensburg. My name is Jack Stein. So, how long have you been living here? I've been to Gebäude in Wellensburg. I was born actually in in Bodepaka Hospital. I'm talking about all the Jews. Why don't you? Um, come at uh, 50 years ago. And so you're from Borough Park originally? And, uh, no, I'm in Willisburg, Willisburg. I was born in Borough Park, but I'm born in Willisburg, yeah. And um, what hotel do you come from? Are you a Hasid? Yeah, you can call me a Hasid. I'm a neutral person. Neutral. Oh. Respect all Hasidis. Yeah. And what do you do in life, if I may ask? Oh, what I do in life? My actual my, um, expertise is I learn with Bukharam, with Bukharam, Shvacha Bukharam, in Yeshiva. Bukharam that fall behind, yeah. Oh, that's great. It's, it's, uh, yeah. How long have you been doing that? Oh, I do this already for uh, 10 years, maybe. Yeah. And, but uh, I was studying all my life. I was doing. I was studying all my life. Yeah. From where did you come to Europe? From Europe. My parents were born in the United States. In my mom was born in in America. And my dad was born in Italy. But my mom is from the United States. Your mama comes from Europe. I think it's Slovakia, yeah, Slovakia, yeah. And they say that they are both Hasidim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing Willis book is the sat me tit a bit more dominating, so automatically, it's the way it me more sat me. It's not that I'm mixing the language. Les Satmers sont plus dominating, et donc numérically, il y en a plus. Mais, honnêtement, je respecte tous les chassides. Tous les chassides sont des gens qui ont mal, des gens qui ont des choses. Oui. Et qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui pour Shabbos? Aujourd'hui, pour Shabbos, c'est le Shabbos pour Tishabah. Vous savez ce que c'est? Pour Shabbos, c'est le Shabbos pour tout le monde, et c'est le Shabbos pour tout le monde. Donc, pour le Shabbos, c'est le Shabbos pour tout le monde. Il faut essayer de faire un peu de fast. And then uh, Tisha B'Av is on uh, Sunday. Zentik, yeah. What are you going to be doing? Uh, how, how, how do you uh, commemorate Tisha B'Av? What do you mean? The, most of the time, when I'm in Shiel, I'm the kids, there's a whole thing that you got, you got, you takes quite a, quite a part of the day to finish. Yeah. And maybe last question, what's your favorite parashat Shavua? What? What's your favorite parashat Shavua? Which parashat Shavua is the most favorite for me? Yeah. Yeah, the parashat Shavua is I Chushif. And a ganze toy, jede wat in de toy is eigenlijk hoe chef. Dat is een schaak te zeggen, eens is meer dan de andere. But your, your personal favorite, the one you like the most. De de eerste de eerste paas in de toy, de de wat eerste paas van de wereld. En dit is de eerste zaak, so before everything, en die eerste paas van de wereld for a purpose, ja. So met tien zijn, whatever you want us from us, as I gave my toy. The next paas is the the kabul is a toy. It's showing. Anything else you want to tell our listeners in France? In France, I can say that I have a stark mitlat with them with my suffered in in France with the anti-Semitism. It's one whenever the lineup is about the Mechazai, it's stark to see them and to hear them. And I have to help them as with the Tisha B'av, as I said, on the last Tisha B'av, and as I said, all the candidates to struggle with the Messiah and the Bnei. Eerlijk, ik heb een mijn lichaam, maar ik kan aanhouden de toeren. Ja. Dat is goed. Koud, hè. Heel erg bedankt. Alors, j'ai cette question que je pose à la fin de chaque interview. Quelle est la parashat Shavua, la portion hebdomadaire de la lecture de la Torah, que vous préférez Il me répond, Bereshit, la Genèse, comme la réponse de Yossi Herzog. Et quand j'ai demandé à Jake Stein s'il avait quelque chose à dire, aux auditeurs en France, il a parlé de l'antisémitisme. Je ne suis pas rentré dans un débat avec lui sur l'antisémitisme, ses causes, ses effets en France aujourd'hui. Je me suis contenté à remarquer que, au lieu de dire « anhalten die Teure », préserver, maintenir la Torah, il a prononcé « anhalten die Teure », avec un changement vocalique auquel je ne m'attendais pas du tout d'après mon apprentissage du Yiddish en cours et dans les livres. 
On va à la boulangerie. All right. Uh, good day. Um, uh, may, maybe we can start by your name. Uh, okay, my name is my name is Yaakov. I live in uh, Brooklyn, Williamsburg. What else? Over uh, half years. Yeah. My name is Yaakov. I live in Williamsburg, in Brooklyn. In uh, how long have you been living in Williamsburg? I, I was you born here. Ik ben geboren geworden door, ik ben geboren geworden door, mijn tante, mijn mama, alles is van door. Ah, goed. En dan, wat doet hier afleiding? Ik arbeid in een bakery, in een café. Doe? Doe, ja, ja, doe op bed, wat heb je? Hoe is de bakery? Hoe is de bread? Wat is het? Het is beautiful. Het is nice, people like it. En trying to make a living. En sinds wanneer is de bakery, sinds wanneer is het hier geworden? This bakery is, is often for the last uh, for the last uh, same year, and yeah, this is this. Great. And from uh, where's your family from originally? Originally, my mother came from uh, um, from Hungary, Hungary. And they're then in Chesedim. Uh, Alles Chesedim, yeah. From from welke chotzer? Papa. So, let, tell me about the, the the different communities here in Williamsburg. So it's basically, it's just, uh, alles is basically kama de zelbe, but uh, what we do is do that to other rabbis, other a bit of men hogen, but uh, it's alles zelbe de zelbe from the same zag. Alles goes in one direction. <laughs> and what direction is that? Huh? What direction is that? Chasidim. So uh, what are you going to do? What are we doing for tonight for the Shabbos? Tonight for Shabbos, we got Essen, mm-hmm. we got Davenon, we got Gana Shil. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of work on the whole day. Are you preparing, any, how, are you preparing especially for uh, Tisha B'Av on uh, Sunday? Uh, no, we're going to be open because the whole day is a big deal in upstate, in the Caskill. So it's not so much fun, it's not so busy in that day. So the whole day is still very still, so we're going to be open on Tisha B'Av. And um, let me, maybe uh, almost last question. What's your favorite parashat of Shavua? Again? Your favorite parasha of uh, Shavua? Mishputam. <laughs> Mishputam? <laughs> Why is that? Ah, I'm just kidding, I have no favorite. <laughs> No, it's all the same. It's it's alles the same. It's the same. I mean, alles is andish, interessant. Alles the same, interessant. But you don't have like one personal favorite that you you love the most? One story. What's my thing? You meant to ask, was it a tug in the wag and was it a parsha? No, the parsha. No, the story. Which is your favorite story? Favorite story. Thinking. Uh, ich weiß nicht. <laughs> That's all right. Anything else you want to tell our listeners and friends? Uh, was all I said. Jedes Mal geht ein Schabes in uh, in Atzlocha and good luck. It's about it. That's all you need. <laughs> Dans mon Yiddish balbutiant, je fais pas mal de fautes et je parle surtout pas avec cette voix radiophonique que vous entendez ce soir sur RCJ. Alors Yaakov ou Yankev, comme il se corrige quand il parle Yiddish, le boulanger de Betveta Amim choisit une autre paracha de la semaine, Mishpotim, Mishpatim. La paracha où pas mal de mitzvot, de mitzvot, de, d'obligations sacrées sont dénombrées à la suite de l'énonciation des dix commandements. Quand je le presse et demande pourquoi il aime cette paracha, il se désiste et répond, comme d'autres ont répondu et vont répondre, que toutes les parachotes et que la Torah sont au-dessus de tout intéressantes. Alors ce vendredi qui précède un Tisha B'Av qui tombe un samedi, Tisha B'Av étant le jeune qui commémore la destruction du temple et qui est donc reporté à dimanche, la boulangerie dédouble ses forces et j'ai l'occasion de rencontrer encore un boulanger qui émerge comme se fait souvent à New York d'en dessous le trottoir tenant une caisse d'oignons. Good Chavez. Good Chavez. Today is a good Chavez. Uh, so, uh, what's your name? My name is Cairo. And uh, where, where do you work? Uh, in the Corn's Bakery. 
How long have you been working here? Uh, ten hours, ten and eleven hours. Oh yeah, but since when? Like uh, how many years? Oh, one year. Ah, one nice. year. Yeah. And where do you live? Do you live here in the neighborhood? Yeah. In Kent Avenue. Ah, Kent. in Kim Brooklyn. So, uh, do you uh, do you speak any Yiddish? No, little only Shkoya, Burak Hasham, um, Budafti for the customers. Oh, li li little, little. And some of the orders, do they, they place some of the orders in here? Do you understand? No, <laughs> no understand. <laughs> no, no entiendo mucho. Es muy poquito. Muy poquito. Yeah. Okay. And uh, where are you from originally? Mexico. I'm from Mexico. Okay. And uh, when did you come to the, to the States or when did your family come? No, my family is from Mexico. Your family is still in Mexico? Yeah. So you came uh, on your own? Yeah, I'm still so lucky. Ah, uh, okay. And you, did you, did you have, when's the last time you saw your family? Uh, one years. Yeah. My, uh, let, let me ask you a question. If your family came, where would you take them in the neighborhood? Where's a good place to take your family? Yeah, I don't know. If your family come to the USA, no. Where you take the tourists? Where you take the tourists to your family? My, no, my no family in here. No, no. If your family come. Yeah. See, what's in nice? In Williamson. But yeah, what's nice? Ya, es, es, sí, mi familia no viene para acá, pero es, es, es muy bonito. Okay. Oh, muchas gracias. De nada, a ti, gracias. Shkoya. Ich hatte eine Radio Station die ganze Sache. Ja, ich bin ich 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 am 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 Alright. Ja, ich ich arbeite nur in aber dorten in Paris in der Radio Station und euch uh, hab uh, ich schreibe uh, kleine Pieces uh, komische Pieces. So, bis ich kommen du bis ich kommen du darf ich zu kicken der der Community oder nein überall. No, überall. Uh, I came to see friends here in New York and then All I right. figured it out. Uh, do something for the radio. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you're working a little. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Working on vacation. Nice. Combining the two. Right can't that? combine business and pleasure. No, you can't. That's true. But I guess the business, if the business is pleasure, ah. then you can combine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. ah. All right, enjoy your stay. Thank enjoy. I get Chavez. I get in Gantanas. And Lashina Bubi in Shalim. Hello, Cairo. Parle quand même un peu Yiddish avec un accent pas mal comme tous les accents je me demande s'il craint un peu quand je lui pose des questions sur sa famille sur l'éventualité qu'il vienne aux états unis faire un tour dans le quartier où il habite est-ce que c'est l'air du temps la politique qui est au fond j'en sais rien Ensuite, toujours sur euh, les marches de la boulangerie, apparaît Chaim, qui lui vient d'Israël, d'Israël, et qui parle hébreu. Et on parle en hébreu jusqu'à ce que mon ami qui est avec moi nous rappelle de passer à l'Idish. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos, hello. Hello. Um, Shabbos. Erev Shabbos. We are not training on Shabbat, but it's Erev Shabbos. Bon vendredi, en réalité. Chaim me rappelle qu'on n'accorde pas d'interview le samedi. Let's go, 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 Chaim nous raconte qu'il est salesman, qu'il vient de Jérusalem, et on lui pose quelques questions sur les langues qu'il parle. Il dit qu'il ne connaissait pas l'anglais avant d'arriver aux États-Unis, qu'il est venu pour sa femme, 
vu qu'il s'est marié. Et mon ami demande quelle langue il parle avec sa femme, l'hébreu ou le yiddish. Il dit elle ne parle pas hébreu. Ici, on ne parle pas hébreu. Mais à la maison, ils étaient bilingues. À Jérusalem, son père parlait en yiddish aux enfants et sa mère plutôt en hébreu. Il dit que là-bas, on parle les deux langues, mais dans cette communauté, non. Pas d'hébreu. Qu'on est contre. Des fois arrivent des Israéliens avec qui il a l'occasion d'utiliser son hébreu. Alors je balbutie encore une fois. Je cherche une question à poser. Et Chaim en trouve une pour moi. Comment se prépare-t-on pour le Shabbos À Fiedish. Je pose ma question ultime. Quelle est ta paracha préférée Et il me répond qui est en réalité la paracha de Tisha B'Av. Il nous raconte qu'il y a dans cette paracha un verset en particulier qui doit être lu avec une mélodie particulière, triste et cassée selon lui. Il donne le verset en hébreu avec l'accent ashkenaz, ce qui est pour moi très exotique à entendre, et il le traduit en yiddish. Alors moi, je donne la traduction de la traduction, évidemment. Notamment, il traduit le verset « Comment puis-je porter ce fardeau d'enfant juif ?» dit Moïse. Alors je vous laisse chercher le verset vous-même, si vous voulez regarder l'original en hébreu. C'est dans Dvarim, donc Deutéronome, chapitre 1, verset 9. Chaim qui attend l'arrivée des Israéliens pour pratiquer son hébreu, et moi j'insiste qu'il parle en yiddish. On voit une jeune femme dans la rue accompagnée de plusieurs enfants. On n'est pas sûr si moi, homme, je peux lui poser des questions. Donc c'est mon ami qui l'aborde. Yes. 
our friends. <laughs> Yeah. Now, what are you preparing tonight? Um, Acida with um, Magritte. Are you making it? You making the Shabbat? You <laughs> if if I'm keeping Shabbos? No, are you are you um, cooking? No, nine. I'm cooking Shabbos. Yes. And how long are you living here in Brooklyn? Since I was finished from the born. Born here. And what family? Where is the family from? Um, originally is Finn Ungarn. Um, Han, but they basically did this and do. Are you working? Yeah. In an office. Um, an office for a lumber. Okay. And um, are you having your own children? Nachnish, no. Yeah. What was it? In a school. In learning English. Yiddish and English, but by the. Oh, okay, interesting. And what is your favorite parasha Pasha? Um. Allah. Hanska favorite um, Pasha. No. Anything you want to tell our listeners in France? Um, I wish 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 une question toute simple, comme toutes mes questions lors de cette balade à Williamsburg. L'excitation de ce que j'étais en train de faire, de réaliser des interviews de rue, plus ou moins en yiddish, avec mon nouveau microphone, m'a mis dans un état d'esprit simple et heureux. Alors on continue, et on voit sur un banc assis quatre hommes, avec qui on entre en conversation. This, this neighborhood is good and it's not good. They are bad and good people, but it's, it's beautiful people here. Yeah. We we commute all of them, Jewish, black, Spanish. And so uh, uh, do, you, um, do you know any Yiddish from living around here for so long? I guess uh, I've been living around here before you were born. Yeah, but so I came, I came to this area in 19... I came to here to New York, to the South Side, in 1950. You know what? You you were not not born yet, okay? Oh, and I know how changes happen. So tell me, how was this neighborhood in 1950? When did the Jewish communities arrive? What? Here in the neighborhood. Where? Right now? When did they come to the neighborhood? That's what I say. It was mixed. There was some Italian, some Spanish, some Jewish. There was always mixed right now. Same mix, yeah, same people. Now it's more, in this area it's more, uh, the, what you call it, the Hasidic. It's more people, more Hasidic. I'm black, Spanish is less. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? From Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Yeah, Puerto Rico. Did you come with your family or alone? I came, all my family was here, you know, and I, I, I've been married here. I, My, my, my kids are nice kids, they got a nice position and things like that. Ses amis l'encouragent à nous raconter ce que font ses trois fils, dont il est très fier. Comme a pu l'être peut-être Moïse autrefois, malgré le fardeau. I thank God. I always thank God for everything. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Anything special you want to tell our listeners and friends? Well, that, that, that we should be more friendly, everybody. That's all. It's different. Direction Boulangerie. Où on rencontre 
deux jeunes femmes. Devant leur maison. Hi, how are you? I'm Great. fine today. So, um, could you please tell us your name and where you live and what you do in life? My name is T. Nani. Um, I work and I go to school. Um, I live in a nice, nice community. It's very nice, quiet. Where, and where's that? Where's the where, where? Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. And um, so, how long you've been living here? I've been living here for about 14 years. Yeah, like 14 years. 14 years. It never is. Barely no problems, no crimes, no robberies. Nice, it's very universal. It's nice transportation. You can move around. And, uh, Stores are on the corner. Very convenient. And how's the, how is it living uh, alongside the Jewish communities? It's quiet, it's nice, it's cool. No problems, right? Have you picked up any Yiddish? It's, no, I need to. You don't know any Yiddish? No. Today, for example, is uh, Friday. I know a little bit. Um, Kim Do. That means come here, right? That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. We know, uh, like we know a little bit. Um, <laughs> what else? Uh huh. How about like? Oh yeah, the Danishes. You got the the food. Ooh, remember the Danish? The rogalach. Oh, that's what it's called. With the chocolate, the rose. Mm, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the rogalach. Yeah, that's good too. And you know how to say like a good Shabbos? You know good that? Shabbos? You no. know what the Shabbos is? No, what Shabbos is, it? is Saturday. Sa Saturday. Oh, that's when they're gonna. We got, got gonna be burning stuff, right? That's where they go to. They they light the candles at night. Oh, they light the candles. Uh -huh. And Saturday is the mo is the holiest day for the Jews. Oh, okay. This Saturday. Every Saturday. Oh, every Saturday they go. Oh yeah, they go to the um. The synagogue. Yeah. Yeah. And they pray and stuff. Right. And then it's called mm -hmm. keeping the Sabbath because mm -hmm. uh, you're not allowed to light fire, not allowed to watch TV. Yeah, I, I remember to going work. to people's houses, having to um, turn up their they stove and stuff for them. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little treat after, but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. When, and then, can you tell us about that? When did that happen? When that happened, I think that was um, Hanukkah, right? Yeah, around that time, November. This year. Yeah, no, last year. Last year or two years, yeah, in right November, when they built the little houses in the back and stuff. Right. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, the little houses, that's the court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? That's yeah. Cool. Well, anything you want to tell our listeners and friends? Um, Hope you enjoy. Like, um, come visit Williamsburg. It's very nice. Yeah, for sure. All right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Je ne sais pas pour qui ces gens-là, ces Juifs de Williamsburg, sont plus exotiques, pour Tinani ou pour moi. Moi qui essaye avec le peu que je peux donner une idée de ce que c'est Shabbat, dire qu'on va à la synagogue, qu'on n'allume pas de lumière. Moi qui essaye de faire la traduction de de la vie des gens qui sont autour de moi, mais qui n'est pas la mienne. What's, uh, what's your name and how long have you been living here? My name is Rabbi Dovot Cohen. I live in the Williamsburg State. And what, what, what do you do in life? I have been a I a marketer. I learn Good. Um, and uh, how, 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 did you, how did you get into that? I have learned. I have seen. As the toy is there, it is, it is very shiny, it is very fine. But I thought that they would make a green dollar and they would make the toy a better. It's Rav Dubit Cohen, who enseigns the Torah better than he would make a green dollar. Yes, I have learned the toy. Fertig Jur. And where? Only here in the neighborhood? Yeah, in this neighborhood. In this neighborhood. And um, which, uh, which community do you, uh, do you belong to? I belong to the Allgemeine Jeden, Orthodox Jeden. The first non Hasid we encounter in Williamsburg, an Orthodox. Which means that they which community? In the Orthodox Jeden. Orthodox Jeden means that Jeden is all children, and they're all the children with us. 
So uh, did you ever work with the Chassid? Do do it. Ich bin ein Stückel Chassid. Ein paar Chassid kamen. Ich trage jetzt in der Fremde Schiere Sadina Chassid. Meint, was er ist, was er lernt, was er sich schaut. In ihrem Masbruf, das heißt Chassidus. Nicht, dass man geht mit der Kapotte in eine lange Reihe. Das ist auch etwas sehr important, sehr eine wichtige Sache. Aber der Ehre Masber, der Messilus, die Schorim, der Seifer, was heißt der Chassid? Laura, nous donne un début de définition de ce que c'est qu'un Chassid. Mais quand euh, je le demande, il me dit, ça ne s'explique pas en une minute. Et m'en voit regarder dans le livre Messilat et Charim. Ma question du jour. Je ne suis pas sûr de comprendre sa réponse. Il dit d'abord qu'il aime toutes les parachot, qu'il aime toute la Torah. But special Yane Voch is my favorite. Yane Voch. On pourrait penser, mais cette semaine. C'est ma préférée, mais Yene, pour moi, dans ce que j'ai appris, dans le dictionnaire que j'ai consulté, ça veut dire l'autre, pas celui-ci, l'autre semaine. Alors je pose une autre question, la première qui me vient à l'esprit. Comment est-ce qu'on fête la fin du jeûne de Tisha B'Av Et il rigole à ma question. Im ersten Stück der Cake. Fahr der macht man eine hohe Brüche. Im Dank der Beibischen. In so nicht ganz special Celebration. Sie nur, man habt sich heran. Das ist schon mal das alleine schon als Celebration. Ma question lui semble sans doute exotisante en réalité. Et ça le fait rire. C'est juste encore un jour de la semaine. Alors je continue avec mon schéma. Et je demande à David Cohen, le rabbin orthodoxe, comme je demande à tous les autres, s'il a quelque chose à dire aux auditeurs en France. Et là, il rigole un peu moins. mouvement in Paris. Le mouvement libéral est un mouvement hérétique. Et son ami lui rappelle, et il est d'accord, que le sionisme y est compris. Paris. And thank you very much. Il est temps de quitter le quartier de South Williamsburg. On se dirige vers le pont sous lequel on est passé pour entrer dans ce quartier. pour retrouver le métro et rentrer à la maison, à Harlem, où habitent nos amis. Et sur notre chemin, on rencontre une dernière interviewée, une femme, autre terre, qui habite vers la frontière de ce quartier. Et peut-être pour cause. Well, my name is Sarah. 
Ich bin retired. Ich pass auf auf meine Mama. Das ist älter für mich. Und das ist es. Und dann kannst du spazieren, das Sach, du beim Wasser. And you're, and you're taking a walk there for? For, for uh, exercise and for pleasure. And uh, how, how long have you been living here in the neighborhood? Um, ich bin du bei 55, 60 Jahre. All right, and you're a Mishpucha, as, uh, from what background? Um, my mom is from Romania. My dad is a Czech. He lived not, she lived here. Yeah. Baruch Hashem. And uh, are you, were you, are your parents, did your parents grow up as part of the community here? Or they were in the community here. They came to the krieg here. And yeah, they were in the frame, chassidim. And uh, you spoke Yiddish at home? Yeah, English show. And um, so you're not, you, you, you don't define yourself as very religious? No. And, uh, I believe in God. <laughs> I believe in God, but not too much Hasidish. And, what, what's and I observe the commandments. That's good. <laughs> so? And, uh, um, but, and you have, but you still have no trouble living here with, uh, in the, among the religious no, communities? No, no. Every one is French, it's And is there anywhere else you can speak Yiddish in your daily life, or is it only here in the community? No, no. Not in business, not in business. And what, what kind of business did you do? Did you do for um, Office, office arbit. Yeah. We done? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Anything else you want to tell our listeners and fans? No, not too much. I don't know. I'm sorry, not so... This woman, who is the father is dead and who is occupied with her mother who lives always, qui n'est pas chassid mais qui croit en Dieu, qui observe des commandements mais peut-être pas les commandements, qui parle yiddish ici et anglais par là et parfois les deux ensemble. Elle nous dit qu'elle n'a pas grand chose à dire en réalité à nos questions très simples sans beaucoup de fond. Elle ajoute qu'elle ne parle pas beaucoup en... généralement et demande est-ce qu'on a terminé Alors oui, on a terminé notre balade à Williamsburg. La veille de Tisha B'Av, en août 2018, muni d'un peu de yiddish et d'un microphone. Das ganze Leben ist doch nicht mehr wie ein Tag.